lightning is one of the leading causes of weather-related fatalities around the world. It is unpredictable and can strike when you least expect it. The odds of being struck by lightning in your lifetime is around 1 in 15,000. But when you're a storm chaser, the chances increase significantly. So, better leave the chasing to the idiots like myself that do it for fun. Anyway, I am here to share with you my top 10 best lightning shots that I've captured so far. Number 10 happened in December of 2021. I was chasing an amazing shelf cloud that was moving through from the southwest. It's going to look amazing coming towards me. As it started getting dark, the flashes in the storm started becoming more vivid and frequent because the storm was drawing in more moisture from the coastline. I ended up letting the storm overtake me as many of the lightning strikes were embedded in the rain. This gave me the best possible chance of capturing lightning in slow motion. As I trailed it back home, this one stood out to me. What makes this particular one awesome to me are the return strokes or individual flickers after the first strike you can see in slow motion. There is close to a dozen in my eyes but I can't be exact. How many can you count? Number 9 occurred on the 3rd of December 2016. Many will remember this day from the spectacular supercell that marched its way north from northern New South Wales and into Queensland. I got onto this storm just near Rath Downey and watched it slowly take shape into a well-defined supercell with a massive rotating mesocyclone with amazing striations. As we kept ahead of it, we stopped off just south of Bow Desert and the storm turned into an amazing bell-shaped supercell. Non-stop lightning was dropping out of the vault of the storm. This is where all the heavy rain and precipitation falls. I decided to try capturing some in slow motion, and this one was my favourite. Aside from the lightning, the entire chase will definitely go down as one of my top overall chases. <laughs> Number 8 also occurred in December of 2021. Many of the storms that happened during this month produced excellent light shows after the storm had already passed through, mainly displaying anvil crawler lightning, or spider lightning high up in the amble of the thunderstorm. I drove 400 kilometers on this day, but my best lightning shot from the whole chase was captured from my driveway just after I got home. How convenient. <laughs> Seeing this shot in slow motion is absolutely magical. Watching the lightning weave through the clouds with no destination is just mesmerising. And that is why this one landed at number 8 on my list. I'm just going to call this entire night number 7 and number 6 with the amount of lightning this storm produced. My friend and I decided to head out west for a forecast line of storms that was going to move through the Darling Downs later at night. As we arrived in Dalby, the light show was evident in the distance. We positioned ourselves just outside of town and started taking exposures. As it moved closer and closer, the bolts became more vivid and were dropping more frequently as it intensified in front of us. Overall, I captured dozens of photos, but these ones were the best captures of the night. Number 5. About 30 kilometers to the south of Gaidner, which is about 130 kilometers inland from Harvey Bay. My partner and I were wrapping up a week we spent in Noosa, and I decided to drag her along for a storm chase on one of the best forecast days of the year. We waited outside Gympie for storms to initiate and noticed they were forming more inland, so I started heading that way. Roads were very limited and reception was about as useless as a dead cockroach, but I managed to find a few clearings to watch the storm intensify right in front of us. What a supercell! And at this time, it started throwing close bolts out in front. The range. Whoa. <laughs> this one was the only one I caught on camera. I think I got it. I almost missed this one as I was focusing my camera just milliseconds before it happened. 
and it happened slightly out of frame, but I did manage to pan quick enough to capture the full bolt. Number four occurred earlier in the afternoon on the same day I captured the nighttime light show out at Dalby. On the way out there, we saw a small cell pop up near Gatton and saw it dropping a few bolts in the distance. We stopped off in front of the storm in hopes of capturing some of these bolts, but by the time my camera got set up, the lightning seemed to vanish. With the rain approaching, I patiently waited in hopes of it throwing out one last minute bolt before collapsing on itself. And what it threw out in front of me, I never expected. This happened so fast, I didn't notice what I just captured. Playing this clip back slowly revealed a spectacular quadruple bolt all in the blink of an eye. Compiling a few video frames together and overlaying them gave me this still image of the shot. Number 3. Late 2021 sure did produce plenty of excellent storms for South East Queensland, but one of the most interesting days for me happened on the 26th of November. Storm after storm lined up one after another, each different from the last. I got in front of one of the last cells for the day moving towards Lake Clarendon, just near Gatton. When I arrived, I quickly set up the camera, wiped the lens, checked focus, and then all of a sudden... The bang was so loud and scared the life out of me. But, I captured this. Clear air, cloud to ground lightning striking 150 meters in front of me. This is also the first lightning shot I captured where the bolt hits the ground. Another amazing detail is the very rare upward streamer that I captured next to the main lightning channel. Basically, when lightning reaches down towards the ground, it is met by an oppositely charged stream of lightning coming up from the ground. Multiple of these can happen at the same time with only one making a connection, leaving the others exposed. And that is exactly what happened in this image. I still can't believe I captured this shot by pure luck. Number 2. A low forecast chase that happened on the 19th of February 2020 turned into one of the most stunning scenes in all my chasing. I arrived at a lookout outside Boona and started shooting this storm as it moved over the countryside. I had to get in front of the storm to capture some nighttime shots. I made my way through the core of the storm and stopped off on a side road at Boyland and watched the storm slowly move to the northeast of me, just keeping out of the rain. At this stage it was mainly embedded amble crawler lightning. All of a sudden, the ground lit up like the sun just exploded. The GoPro captured a bolt leaping from the back of the storm to the ground. At the same time, I raced back to the DSLR and closed the shutter, at this point still having no idea what happened. Until I saw the screen. A crystal clear back end bolt leaping well away from the rain. I got so lucky that my lens was pointed in such a way that I got the whole bolt in frame. I was so excited at the time I started taking phone photos of the screen and sending it to friends. Truly a surreal moment in my life, but the best is still to come. Number 1 South of Boona on the 25th of October 2018. I started capturing some amazing bolts out the front of this storm that was approaching Lake Mugura. I even captured one hitting a mountain peak. I knew, judging by sheer look and the radar images that were coming through, this storm was deadly. I kept racing to get ahead of the storm as it was moving very quick, and I ran into my other friend Dan just outside the town of Harrisville. The storm looked spectacular through exposures, showing a massive rotating structure. It was at this moment, luckily captured on Dan's dash cam, I pressed the shutter, took a step back, and this happened. Holy crap! Since I started storm chasing, I dreamed of capturing something as perfect as this shot. And this is my number one. What's that, sir? Wow. That's fantastic. The focus on this bolt was absolutely perfect. The detail in the branches coming off the main bolt. I was overwhelmed with happiness that I just captured a once-in-a-lifetime shot. 
And just to top the night off, my car's gearbox blew up two streets away from home. I have been chasing now for just over six years since I got my license. I have now just turned 24 years old, so I still have a long way to go in this journey as a storm chaser, living and enjoying a hobby I grew up watching on TV. Thank you everyone so much for watching and supporting us. Stay safe.